You guys have been asking, what's under the cover? I know a lot of you are new here and you've been asking what's under the cover. This is my 2016. What? what? Excuse me? What do you mean, excuse me? That's my car? No, it's my car. I got proof right here. That's funny because the title in the house has got my name on it. Well, excuse me, because your social media post that you put up says it's my car. No! So I special ordered this car brand new from the factory, and I was a little scared at the time to be saying that I bought this car. It stickers for about $75,000 with my employee price. I paid about 65 for it, but it was the most expensive car I've ever bought in my career. So on social media, as you see right here on the screen, I wrote that this was the easiest sale of my career and my wife bought the car so that way it yeah. didn't look like... You were like the worst salesman in the world. How was I the worst salesman? No, I'm the best salesman, lady. No, you made me go put gas in this car myself instead of giving me a full tank. <laughs> I didn't even tell you I bought it, right? No, you didn't. So this car outside of some of the mods that I'm gonna show you that we've done, it's fairly stock, but we've got some of the best mods to do to a C7. So we'll start with the outside of the car. This is a 2016 Long Beach Red Corvette. And this was the very first Long Beach Red that came off the assembly line for a consumer. So on the outside here, we've got MMR uh, ZR1 replica wheels. So I used to have chrome wheels on this. And then these are from ACS Composite. These are their like larger rock guards. So that way rocks don't hit down here. These work really good. So if you have a C7 or a C8, ACS Composites uh, does make these for those cars. Make sure you get those. They're huge. So uh, back here on the back, uh, we have the same exact rock guards. And then you'll see right here that we have color matched uh, lights right here. So the red lights here, and then up here, we have the amber lights as well. And they look pretty cool and they're really ghosted out and they match the car really well as well. Uh, the front splitter I got from my friends at 360 Express Collision Detail. I work with them really well. Uh, they had one, a customer said that they didn't want it. So they gave it to me and we put it on. And then we put a Z06 Grand Sport front grille. Now the best thing to get is, is from the dealership. So if you're buying an aftermarket, uh, there's a couple of places out there just horrible quality stuff. Stuff. So buy these from the dealership. They're a few hundred dollars more, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely worth it. But it makes the front end of this car look super awesome. We did the carbon flash uh, emblems up here. This was an option to do uh, back in 2016. And it makes these guys carbon flash back here as well. And then makes these carbon flash here as well. Now, the uh, license plate. I, a lot of people ask me about the license plate. Why is it titled in Kentucky and why the C8 is titled in Indiana? So I actually do live in Indiana, um, but it's easier for me to tell everybody Louisville, Kentucky, because nobody knows the town that I live in. But uh, back in 2015, when we got this car, the Indiana state uh, was under a lawsuit from a police officer in Indianapolis, Indiana, because he wrote zero I and K on his fraternal order of police license plate. And they deemed that offensive because it said oink on a police license plate. It's very humorous. The police officers liked it, but during that lawsuit, uh, they pretty much said no personalized plates. So I titled it in Kentucky and uh, was able to get my license plate. The license plate stands for General Motors money because I use all of my earnings from selling brand new cars to uh, get to this car. And I mean, it's like $100 at a time. So it tells you how many cars I sold to save up $65,000 to pay for this car. It's tough to see in the shade there, but uh, I have a Corsa Extreme exhaust on this. I also had the Corsa Long Two headers and the Corsa X pipe. Uh, so this car sounds super amazing. And I love Corsa exhaust so much that I pushed this car out here, literally pushed this thing out here so that I could get a cold start on this car. We're about three and a half feet away from this Corsa Extreme exhaust. So headphone users, beware. Here is this absolutely awesome cold start. Oh yeah, that is definitely awesome. This is probably one of my favorite features of the Corvette. Let's give it a little rev. All right, we better cut that out because we are at home and we, you know, our neighbors do like us. So another thing that you might notice back here is we have clear taillights, but this is not a Z06. Yes, I've actually owned these taillights longer than I've owned the car, kind of like the engine cover on the C8. So uh, I bought the engine cover and the wheels and the spoilers and all this stuff 
uh, prior to actually having the car. Well, the same thing happened here. I did not like the red like this right here matching this. It just doesn't match. So uh, I went ahead and did clear tail lights because this looks so much better on this car, as I'm sure you can agree. I had the whole thing ceramic coated, which makes cleaning much easier. And I've had some people ask me, like this guy here, he says, why do you keep the car covered when you're indoors? And the biggest issue is just keeping it clean, right? So uh, we got 26,000 miles on this car and it's not being driven as much last year with COVID and getting the C8, but this isn't a, so much garage queen, but we just wanna make sure that it's clean, we can take it out and we can absolutely enjoy it. And then walking around the car, I absolutely love the Long Beach Red because you can see how much this car like changes colors if you're in the shade, if you're you know in the sun, whatever the case may be. And the really awesome thing about this is the metallic in this car. You can see all of that metallic right there. It just looks absolutely awesome and probably one thing I might have done, which I didn't, it was a hundred dollar option back then, was paint the mirrors black, but I really didn't like the black and red look on this. I showed you that picture right there earlier when the car was factory and it had chrome wheels, but as we got chrome wheels and we had to keep them clean, they were just annoying. So my boys at MMR hooked me up with these wheels and I absolutely love these wheels on this car. Now the interior, this is a 2LT car, which again, even with the C8, certainly with the C7, it's the best trim out there to get and it gives you the best bang for your buck. But this car has a feature that no C8 has got and very few C7s have. And this is the reason why we still have this car. It's our favorite feature to have and it was a very disappointing feature to lose on the C8, but my goodness gracious, this is so much fun. And that would be this guy right here. Yes, the manual transmission. The manual transmission is the reason I have this car and the reason I haven't sold this car. As mentioned a couple times previous, this is a 2016 with 26,000 miles and I probably could sell this thing for $50,000 in today's market. That means over the six years of owning this car that it's only cost me $15,000 to drive this car. That's super cheap on a Corvette, but the money means nothing if we can't have fun. And that's why we love this car and why we're keeping this car. Another feature that I love about the car and it was the best thousand dollars I could ever spend was the carbon fiber interior trim. So I have this on the C8 as well, but this carbon fiber interior trim is absolutely beautiful. And it really makes this car stand out when you open this up. So in later versions, like in the 18s and 19s, uh, they actually made this like a high gloss. So this is a pretty unique that it's just kind of a matte finish which I like the matte carbon fiber finish much better than the high gloss finish. We'll start this bad boy up one more time. Uh, just like I told you earlier, we've got uh, 26,000 miles on this bad boy. Uh, we do have navigation, we have performance data recorder, we have the front cameras, front and rear, and um, you also have uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So the camera feature there says it doesn't come on, because uh, we're not in park or we have the parking brake on and it actually doesn't come on when it's the parking brake is engaged on the manual transmission car, which is really unique. So we got the two front cameras and then we have the rear camera as well. Other features that you get in the 2LT is the heated seats and ventilated seats up there. You get upgraded radio system. You get this little badge right here. Uh, these are additional outside of the standard 2LT. This is a Lloyd's floor mats. I show these all the time because these are really some really awesome floor mats to get in the car. And we also have an upgraded floor mat in the rear as well with the Stingray logo. And then the 2LT also gives you the cargo shades as well. So uh, we got ceramic uh, five percent window tent on this car because it just absolutely makes this car look so awesome and then under the hood uh, we haven't really done anything i probably would like to do something what do you think i'm game your game yep. i would really like to mod this car but we just haven't because i've always been a little scared so we mentioned those long tube headers so you kind of can see them down there they're tough to see with the darkness down there but uh, we do have headers from corsa down there these are absolutely awesome and what gives this some amazing sound and then over here we have the general motors cold air intake uh box as well now corsa does make a carbon fiber one which i may get that here really soon and one of the things that i'm really disappointed with with general motors is when this was installed you can see kind of some of that right there this actually rubs 
the car right here. Now this is carb compliant, it's 50 state compliant, so you can put that on uh, in, in any state in the country, but that was kind of like the disappointing thing that it's rubbed the paint off right there on that. Now, a couple fun facts about the Corvette that we also don't have in the C8 is the hood is actually carbon fiber. This whole hood only weighs 16 pounds. And when you close it, this kind of triggers some people, but you gotta, gotta give it a little um so that way it closes. The latches on the C7 hood are about right here. So you can see how far back they are. And you really just don't wanna put your hand on it because you wanna protect it, right? And then the top up here, this is completely 100% carbon fiber as well. So this only weighs 16 pounds as well. That's not true on the C8. With the C8, the only carbon fiber that's available from the factory is the interior carbon fiber features and the exposed carbon fiber top. And just as a fun fact, on the C8, this top one is carbon fiber weighs 12 pounds, which mine is the carbon fiber top. And then I also do have the carbon fiber interior trim, which you can see is a high gloss, which is cool, it's awesome. But the matte finish, I like so much better. The last mod that I really have done to this car is I do have a set of drag rails, which a YouTube subscriber out of Texas uh, gave me these. I just paid for like shipping to get them up here, which was really, really super nice. And of course I got some drag rails for the C8 as well. But uh, I would like to do more mods to that car. I know there's a whole lot more mods that we can do to this car, so I would love to hear what you think we should do to this car. And I gotta tell you, there is one really cool thing that I haven't done in this video that I love to do with this C7.